So I just got this jack from Harbor Freight, the Daytona 3-ton low-profile heavy-duty jack. It's with rapid pump and dual piston design. The jack was on sale for, well, Harbor Freight sale, 149 with coupon, so I thought it was a good deal. I got the green because it matches my cart. And what I liked about it is the fact that it's low profile, going down to three and a quarter inch. But it does give you decent lift, going to 20 inches maximum. And this is supposed to be a knockoff of the snap-on uh, jack, um, or supposedly made in the same factory as a snap-on, so it's supposed to be a good quality. Anyway, I'm going to open this up, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Now let me just cut this open. So here's the handle. This is going to, these are going to fit together, I think, with this detent over here. So it's going to just snap in like that. It's nice lightweight, but it feels pretty sturdy. You can tell it's steel. And so, um, of course, the, uh, the soft cover here is to protect your, uh, your car's body. Now you've got your instructions. Of course, you should be reading these, as you know. And there it is. What a beauty. Looking pretty sleek. Now, be careful as you lift this out, because this is rated at 79 pounds. So now we'll install the handle here. The indented part, of course, is going to go inside. And you're going to push down just to take out this little rubber placeholder. And then it goes all the way up. Now you can loosen this bolt over here. And then it, it'll drop all the way in just so it's in place. Then if you want, you can use a 17 mil just to snug that up a little bit. I don't think it'll come loose, but um, just for peace of mind. When you look at this jack, it's easy to see the weld quality of the work it was done. And you can just know that this has been put together with some precision and some care. Now we'll count the number of pumps to get to maximum height. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was it. Eight pumps did the trick. And now I will just loosen this up, twist it to the left and uh, let it lower all the way. Let's see if it goes all the way down or it needs some assistance at the end. All the way down. Excellent. That's what you want from your jack. Now let's see what the low profile gives us at its lowest point. Right there, three inches. Even better than advertised. Now we'll check the highest point. And it's just below 20. It's about 19 and 3 quarters. So the lowest is 3 and the highest is 19 and 3 quarters. Now before you use this jack the first time, you're just going to check the oil level. Take out two screws from the front there, flip this back, and you'll see the oil plug top over here. This is a... Uh, Just a flat screwdriver, and you can take that out. 
and once you've taken it out you have to make sure that the oil covers the piston over there. If you need to top this up or fill this you want to use proper jack oil and um, just put in a few drops and make sure it just covers the top of that piston down there. So I just added a few drops for peace of mind and then I bled the air out, loosening this up, pumping it 10 times as I tell you in the instructions, uh, closed it back up, uh, closed everything up here again and now it's ready to be used the first time. Now I'm just going to bring the jack, slide it underneath the uh, sienna. And I've got to say, this slides so easily over the floor. So there's my mark on the cross beam, and I'm just going to slide the jack right underneath there. Perfect. Now we'll see how many pumps it takes to get this vehicle off the ground. It's going to take me one. It actually takes off a pump just to get it uh, up to the right height so it makes contact with the vehicle and now we'll go one two oh it's making a noise three four five six seven eight nine So nine pumps has us just at the right height, so we could work with that wheel. This jack is not only a rapid pump, but it's low profile. And so I'm sliding underneath the Jetta to see what it looks like. So with the jack underneath the Jetta, I would say there's probably at least an inch and a half space that I still have. I'll have to use this jack for a while to see how durable it is. But I have to say, it does make a good first impression 